Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit of an experiment. This video has been kind of going viral, I guess you could say, or just like has become very popular within the last few weeks and I have really, really been wanting to try it out. It's where you mix all of your foundations or your concealers or your highlighters and all that stuff together to see how it turns out. Usually, I don't know why, but I'm just not like intrigued by weird type of videos like this, but this one really caught my eye. It was all the videos that I've seen have been super satisfying to watch and it just makes me wonder like what would it look like if I mixed all my foundations and some of my concealers and some of my primers and liquid highlighters and stuff like that together. So today I am mixing together 27 foundations, four concealers, and three illuminating primers slash liquid highlighters. I felt like 27 foundations wasn't enough, so I added in some concealers and also some illuminating primers because I love illuminating foundations and I want this to actually look good on me. So I added a couple of those into it as well. After I mix all those foundations together, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on and wear it throughout the day to see how it looks. I'm like really hoping. Actually, I don't know if I want it to work out because what if I, like what if this does work out and I have to mix every single foundation together every day just to get the perfect foundation. This trend slash video started all from Sophia on YouTube. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she was that girl that was once on BuzzFeed but now has her own YouTube channel and she's rocking it. She literally has like such good content and she comes up with the best ideas and this was honestly probably one of her best ideas because it just went completely insane. Like everyone wants to do this and it was such a good idea. I've also seen a bunch of other YouTubers do it as well so that just makes me want to do it even more. Hopping on the bandwagon people. But I will link Sophia's video down below if you want to see the original one. So we're gonna go ahead and get to mixing. I'm going to make a little makeshift area where I can mix all my foundations and I'm gonna film it on my iPhone. So yeah, let's let's get to that part. Okay, so I went ahead and mixed together all my foundations. It looks like a good shade. I did bring a NYX Pro foundation mixer, the white one, just in case it is a little bit too dark, but I don't know if that's cheating, so maybe I shouldn't use it because isn't the whole point of this video supposed to be like, see how it turns out if your foundations don't work out? It's funny. I don't know. What am I saying? Okay, so I'm just gonna like, oh, that actually looks like a really good shade. Okay, never mind. I guess it worked out on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face first. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I'm also gonna do like my normal face routine after I put on the foundation. Maybe I'll use like a little bit less concealer and a little bit less powder just to see how the foundation actually lasts. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> this is weird. Just gonna streak it on my face. And then it's actually a really good shade from what it looks like so far. And I'm just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. OK, 
Okay, that actually looks really freaking good. Maybe I should just make my own bottle, because that's what Sophia did in her video. She mixed all the foundations and put them into another foundation bottle, so maybe I should just do this and have this as my own like custom foundation. Okay, this actually looks so good on my face. What the, I don't know why I thought it wasn't gonna look good. Like it's all pretty much my good foundations. Pretty much all my favorite foundations in one. Cause I actually just did a decluttering video for my foundations, So I threw out all the foundations that I didn't like. So this basically is just like a mixture of all my favorite foundations. Okay, so that looks pretty freaking good. I'm gonna do one more layer just to like push it to its limit and see how good it's gonna last with extra foundation on my face. I can also tell that like the illuminators are popping through because you can tell that it's like a little bit shimmery but not overwhelming, which I really, really like. Okay, that looks just freaking amazing. I don't know, I'm a little bit disappointed that I like it so much. It just has such good coverage and it looks so good on my skin. Like look how kind of dewy it looks, but not overly dewy. It just like looks like I have a healthy glow. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my face. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the ColourPop concealer. This is the shade Fair. Just underneath my eyes, I don't really want to put it anywhere else, just so I can see how the foundation really lasts. I'm going to take a little bit of that foundation mixture on the back of my hand and dab it on my beauty blender, and I'm just gonna use that to cover up my imperfections a little bit better. I love this. If this lasts good on my face, I'm seriously gonna make an extra foundation bottle just for this mixture, because there's quite a bit left over. And um, I just really like it. It has a really good, like it's a really, really good shade for me. It wasn't too yellow or too pink, which is something that I struggle with a lot, because I feel like I do have kind of a pinkish undertone, but I'm mostly neutral, and a lot of foundations usually have either really yellow undertones or really pink undertones, and it's hard to find that happy medium. Okay, and then I'm going to set a little bit with the cap Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna take a little bit on the Beauty Blender and do right underneath my eyes and on my smile lines, and then I'm just going to lightly dust the rest of my face. Okay, then I'm just gonna put a little bit of brow gel in. I'm not trying to do like a full on face here. Just wanna focus this on the foundation. Okay, then I'm gonna add just a little bit of highlight just to give my face a little bit of life. This is the Ofra Highlighter in Pillow Talk. It is freaking bomb highlighter. It's my favorite right now. Okay, and I'm not gonna do any setting sprays just because I wanna see how this does on its own. So I'm gonna wear this for a few hours and check back in and let you guys know my thoughts on the foundation. Alrighty, y'all, it's been about, um, let's see, when did I start this? It's been about seven hours since I put on the foundation. It is midnight right now and I'm so ready to take my makeup off and go to bed. So let's just zoom you in and we'll evaluate the foundation. So first I'm just gonna take off my glass and show you my glasses marks. Honestly, there's just no way to avoid this. I no foundation except for, I think, ugh, I can't remember which foundation. There was like one foundation where it only had a little bit of a mark from my glasses, but I didn't wear it for as long as seven hours, I don't think. But pretty much every single foundation that I have ever tried doesn't hold up against the nose piece of my glasses. So I'm not like gonna base the quality of this experiment 
on that part because it doesn't work with any foundation basically. Pretty much my skin still looks really good. I didn't really work up a sweat today or anything. I mostly was editing a video and then I ate a couple times and I had a couple glasses of water. Yeah, I mean everything still looks good. I can tell that, I don't know if you can see, but it's getting a little bit oily like around my cheeks. So that's pretty much it. It has been creasing up in my smile lines and like my lines on my mouth a little bit. You can tell it's kind of like bunching up around my nose and like on my chin. I kept everything covered really well. Like the coverage is still there and it still looks really, really nice. You know, there's just like the little things. Honestly, if I, it probably would have lasted better if I had set it a little bit more, but because I didn't really set it very well. Um, that's probably why it's like a little bit greasy in places and a little bit creased in some places, but I really wanted to test this foundation. But yeah, other than like my smile lines and the lines around my mouth and stuff, everything looks really, really good for seven hours. Like I'm happy with the results. I probably am gonna keep this little mixture <laughs> like, I'll probably cover it with saran wrap and use it for some other time because it worked really, really well. I enjoyed the shade of the foundation. So, I mean, if you guys are wanting to do something like this for an everyday basis, you can just like mix together three foundations. I'm sure it would have the same effect. You don't have to mix together 30 different foundations to get this same thing. But I don't know, this was just like a fun little experiment and I'm glad that I did it because it was really fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, there's really not much to critique. I just wanted to do something fun today and this was a cool little science project. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.